Skylanders is an entirely new kind of game. We have taken the world of toys and the world of video games and connected them in a way that's never been done before. One of the things about moving on to Skylanders Giants was we wanted to preserve a lot of the things that people loved about Skylanders Spire's Adventure and make the levels more fun, give more playability. The newest thing about Skylanders Giants is the Giants themselves. The Giants are these huge characters. They're much bigger than the regular Skylander, and so therefore they have unique and different abilities in the game. And as a toy, they're physically much bigger. They can interact with things like boulders in the world, they can smash through the ground, they can smash through lots of walls. They'll just pummel everything that comes in their way. In addition to the Skylanders giants, we've also got eight new Skylanders we call Light Core. Light Core characters can explode and radiate out this attack against all the enemies on screen. But it's echoed in the real world. The toys, as they approach your portal of power in your living room, begin to glow. There's no batteries inside them. It's entirely the magic of the portal being absorbed by the toy and radiated out as light. There's never been a toy like it. Also in Skylanders Giants are Series 2. We've taken your favorite Skylanders from the first game, and we've made new toys that show off their cool upgrades that none of the Series 1 Skylanders had. We call it their Wow Pow. In Skylanders Giants, you don't need a brand new portal. All the toys from Skylander Spyro's Adventure work perfectly in the new game. But now, instead of being maxed out at the 10th level, all your toys can go to the 15th level. In addition to that, we have different difficulty modes. You can play it as easy, you can play it as medium. You can also choose to play it as hard. And there's even a special nightmare mode for the extra hardcore players. Something we created entirely new for Skylanders Giants is the idea of individual toy quests. These are little challenges that are unique for each of your characters. And as you complete more of your individual toy quests, your magic moment becomes cooler and cooler. I think if you liked the combat for Spire's Adventure, you're going to be really surprised and excited to see what we've done with it in Skylanders Giants. You can play in single player, you can play in co-op, and you can even play in battle mode. This is a drop-in, drop-out mode, so anytime you want to have a friend, you can drop in and play. Another really cool thing I like in Giants that's new is arena battles. It's waves and waves of enemies coming at you, and there's all kinds of hazards, like pieces of the floor falling out or things lighting on fire. We've got this game within the game called Skystone. This is a collectible card game. We are going to play against people throughout Skylands, and as you beat them, you take their best card, so your deck gets stronger and stronger. You can also buy some in our in-game store, which is another new feature that I really, really like. Besides Skystones, we also sell PvP arenas, Lucky Charms, and we sell some heroic challenges that are not available any other way. So Skylanders Giants come to life on all the major consoles, but we also have some exciting new places where you can bring your toy collections to life. For example, on the 3DS, we have a platform-based version of the game. Yeah. Giants, to me, is like Spyro's adventure, but just better in every way. And now, to save the day, as a portal master, you need to go out, find the Giants, send them back to Skylands, increase their powers and their upgrades and their strength so that they can eventually fight chaos in the Archean army. Skylanders will remember you and what you've done together forever, and that's what's revolutionary about Skylanders. Giants rule! The big adventure begins October 21st.